All right, so here we got our solenoid board. First thing you want to do when you get it out is take these four filters off. Regardless if it's got gauze in it or not, you don't want them, you want them out of there. Easiest thing to do, use a hobby razor blade. Work your way around the outside, be careful. Most of you will be replacing the O-rings anyway. So if you nick one on the opposite one, not a big deal. I happen to be reusing mine, so just be careful. And this might take a bit, but once you use, once you get one side up, just keep working it from side to side. Also, when you pry on it, your O-rings that seat the solenoid into the board, they are going to pop out. And as far as I know, you can't get them. So that's... one and before we go any further you can see right here this thing has been de-screened before but if you flip it over there are still probably some remnant particles in there that is no bueno all right now that we've got all of our girls filters out you want to know how the board works we'll give you a little heads up first off you're gonna need something to activate these so I chose two four pack nine volt holders, a little bit of breadboard wire, positive and negative. And if you can see here on the board, you're gonna see these six, um, these six little points right here. The two in the middle are going to be ground and the two on either side are going to be positive. So to activate these, you put one on the outside and one on the corresponding inside. And that's actually going to be for this one. So, I don't know if you can see it or hear it, but that is firing. This will be for this one. And you can barely hear it because now it has oil in it. We just took it out. So. Either way, that'll give you a heads up of what you're going to test. And take a look at the other side of the board. And notice if there's any cracks, and these four resistors should be on there. This is a new board from Dr. Vanos, so a little bit different. But if one of these four resistors are missing, you're going to have to send your board out or get a soldering iron. And look from where the, the wiring goes from the board to the noid itself to see if there's any breaks in the wiring. As you can see here... There's a slight break on that black, and just because it's black, it is not in fact ground. That is a power wire. So, short of desoldering and going full ham on these things, what we're going to do is do liquid electrical tape to get that back up and running. Uh, and while we have this on right now, I could show you how to do the resistance. So, obviously, you all know what this is. Set it to ohms. Right here, ohms 200, positive and negative. And on each of the noids, the black and yellow wires, you're just going to hit it and get a read on them. They should be between 3.5 and 4.5 roughly, give or take. So we got 4, 4.1 on that one. Excuse me for taking my sweet time. These suckers are slippery. And 4.1 on that one. Third one, ohms out at 4.1. Fourth one, ohms out at, guess what? 4.1. 4.0. So we are good on that. Alright. So now we're going to test the leak down. Fill all four of the solenoids, the top of them, up with oil. And what we're going to do is we're going to activate them and see how quickly it drains. Not only can you use this board, which as we know, both the middle ones are ground and the outside ones are positive, you can also use these. One, two, three, and four. And just follow the little wiring, the uh, 
the little circuit right here you can see that circuit goes to negative so we're going to activate this one should be for the top left at this point you can see this one's draining really slowly She's barely draining at all. I can't really, at this angle, get a eyes on on the hole, but that is draining pretty slowly. So, so now we are going to test the voltage at the noids themselves. What you're going to want to do is put alligator clips on the back of the noid board. Positive is going to be the black wire, which you can see hopefully there. I don't know what angle that is and yellow is going to be ground so you hook that up to your voltage tester right here support it like this and then activate the board itself on the other side the individual noid where these go to on the other side so again black is going to be power and black is going to be on the top so you put this on the top and then ground on the bottom and you should have around five volts. Yep. Do that. Do that for all four. So now we're just going to clean out the solenoids. Uh, basically, don't be scared of it. These things go at like some crazy amount of psi with oil. Like, so when you put a an air hose up to it, then you're going to be perfectly fine. So first, you activate it. Let's see. That's going to be this one towards me, to the left. You ready? Yep, go for it. And it's going to spray oil out the side. And just tap it a couple times. Just go on and off with it. Yeah, you're going to want to go on and off with it because if you hold it down, sometimes it pulls. I don't think it's in there. All right, now hit it from the other side, wherever the hole is, right in the second ring. Yeah, here. you're going to want to spray it from both sides, gonna, in and out. That's going to be tough to get in here, but I'll try. You ready? Yeah, go Go for it. All right. Try from the top again. There we go. That's good. Now, now you can hear, now that it's out of oil, you can hear the real clicks. Nice, solid clicks. And do that for all four, obviously.